Hey guys, it's me. I am finally back doing vlogging again. You probably saw the latest videos were actually pre-recorded things. I have been um, settling into another country. If you don't follow me on social media or anything else, I am currently in England and I will be here for the next year and a half-ish studying as a student. Because what else do you study as? This is my new hood. You like? It's student accommodation, so I couldn't really amp up it to be really super personal, but I did get a lot of cool things. So this is probably, you probably can't really see a lot because I just spent the last hour trying to frame myself into the actual picture, but I have a DC Comics poster here, a Halo 4 poster over here, and at the back is Audrey Hepburn. And I've got some creepy porn lights behind me there which certainly set the mood. And come on, how awesome are my sheets? I do feel like I'm like two years old, but fuck it. Also, this concept of living in an apartment rather than a house is very new to me because I see literally like five people staring at me and thinking I'm probably insane because I'm talking to myself. Hi, yes, I'm insane. I talk to myself in my room. Shut up. Stop staring at me. I have officially been in the UK for how long? Five weeks? Five, six weeks? So now anything you see with this background will be in real time so you won't get confused anymore. But I am now here. I have been, I think I've been at the university for maybe three weeks now. Two weeks I spent, or one and a half, I spent going around England and I want to share with you guys so far what I've seen. So first of all, I flew into Edinburgh and went around Scotland looking at the highlands and the castles, which was amazing. I absolutely love Scotland and I would, in a heartbeat, definitely go back there. Took the train from Edinburgh to London and from London we looked at like all the main attractions there, Big Ben, the London Eye, the Tower of London everything like that. It was very rushed and very quick. So I didn't get a huge view of everything that is possible in London because it's it's freaking giant. But um, I got a good sort of look at a few of the main tourist attractions, which was fun. But I would want to go back there uh, sometime soon, I guess. But it's very expensive. From there, we drove down to the Stonehenge, which wasn't really as exciting as I expected it to be. But then again, what can you expect from a bunch of rocks? From Stonehenge we went to Bath and Bath was one of my top places to visit because I am a huge Jane Austen fan and at the exact time that we were in Bath for like three hours, we spent three hours there, there was a Jane Austen festival and they did a giant parade around all of Bath and it was absolutely amazing. It was literally the best time I could have ever arrived to see it there. So I was so happy to go at that exact time and see this giant Jane Austen festival of all these women and uh, men dressed up from olden day times and it was just amazing. And then from Bath I came here to university, which I won't disclose where I am, but I am in university now so it's a lot of fun and if you didn't know I'm studying film directing but I am here and that was basically what I did before university now I've come here and had a pretty fun first week of university that I filmed a little bit of now I have been really obsessed with double-decker buses because in Australia there's no such thing as a double-decker bus except for those tall ones which no one takes regularly so Double-decker buses are a new thing for me. Our school bus was a double-decker bus. Literally, the funnest thing ever. I was so excited. Everyone didn't give a crap because they were all English and already knew about double-decker buses. But I was excited. And to be honest, now, three weeks later, I can't say I give a shit about them. But at the end of my first university week, I took a tour to the south of England to the Jurassic Coast, which apparently is the most beautiful thing ever. And now that I've been on it, I can say it is. In the tour, we decided it would be fun to go on the top of the double-decker bus. Now this double-decker bus obviously didn't have a roof because it was a tour bus. So we thought, cool, we're gonna see things so much better because we're outside, yes. So wrong. So, so wrong. The thing you have to know about England is that they have very narrow roads and all the trees hang over the roads a lot. So picture going through a low hanging road of trees in a double decker bus without a roof. Come your faces. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, we're stuck. I'm filming it. Everybody all right? Oh my god, there's like there's bushes on the ground. Oh god. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> we're stuck. It should be alright for a couple of minutes and then as we go down the hill will be another one on the <laughs> on your right. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Cool. <laughs> I'll admit it was memorable. I've also always wanted to see one of those old school steam trains, you know, the real cool like Hogwarts Express ones. And I was able to see this on this tour too. Up the top of the bus. Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> I got it! I just got a hole in the fuck! <laughs> Fog in my face. Fog in my face. <laughs> Again, memorable. Anyway, in a nutshell, that was my trip. That's all I wanted to update you guys on today. Sorry, nothing comic-y at this stage. Just wanted to throw out what's happening and acknowledge that videos may be a little different in terms of placement in the future. I am studying full-time, so I'm sorry if I don't upload videos as often as I normally have, but I will try my very best. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.